Welcome back to our four-part series where we are celebrating the anniversary of the Harry Potter franchise by modeling arguably the cutest yet most frustrating object from the wizarding world, the Golden Snitch. In part two of the series, we're going to stick with our technique of using projected curves for simple circular profile sweeps, and we'll run through a few other tools to finish up the outer detail of the snitch's body. Let's begin adding the lower body details to the snitch by sketching on the front plane. I want the upper portion of this sketch to match the shape of the upper detail, so I'm going to project and mirror this previous sketch. Let's delete the symmetric relation, which will allow me to trim away the portion of this curve I don't want. Now I can add an additional spline, which I'll make tangent to the first line. And I'll just adjust the handles and add dimensions until I come to the shape I'm happy with. Now exit the sketch and navigate to Projected Curve, and I'll select the face to project this curve onto. Now on the right plane we can sketch our connecting curve with another spline. Just as in part one of the series, it's important to set the relationship between this spline and the projected line. I'll make sure the endpoints are coincident and the top and bottom of this spline are tangent with the existing projected curve. Again, I'll just adjust the shape with dimensions and exit the sketch. Now navigate to the Swept Boss tool in the Command Manager, and we'll do a few additional circular profile sweeps, with our profile diameter set to 1.8 millimeters. So let's follow this same process to add the last of our outer details, this time from an added reference plane. I'm going to reference the vertical line from our first projected curve sketch, so let's unhide that. Then navigate to Reference Geometry, Plane, select the vertical line, and in the History tree I'll select the right plane, and instead of the default to make this new plane perpendicular to the right plane, I'll choose the Angle option, which will allow me to angle this plane in relation to the right plane. I want this plane to approximately face the enclosed swept detail we just added, so 330 degrees looks like it works. 
Now let's hide the sketch we just referenced and unhide our last two projected curves to reference for our sketch on this newly created plane. I'm going to create three separate vertical lines that are equally spaced within this area. So for this first sketch, I'll first set two equal horizontal construction lines to snap to. And I'll make sure the points of my vertical lines are coincident with the projected curves. Now let's exit this sketch and add the other two lines, each in their own sketch. We have to create these three lines in their own sketches because you can't project a single sketch containing multiple open curves. You have to do them one at a time. For these two additional vertical lines, again I'm making sure their endpoints are coincident with the projected curves, and I want to make sure the lines are coincident with the midpoints of the sketch construction lines. Now I want to project these lines onto this surface here, but the lines protrude outside of the boundary of this surface, so a projected curve isn't possible. So let's unmerge our previously completed sweeps. In the history tree, right-click on Sweep 4 and select Edit Feature to re-enter the Features Property Manager. Under Options, simply deselect Merge Result and click the green check mark to update the feature. And I'll just repeat that for our other sweep. Now we have this whole surface available to project our lines onto. And back in the Swept Boss tool, I'll again use the Circular Profile option, this time making the diameter slightly smaller at 1.4 millimeters. And you'll notice when we exit this feature with the Merge Results option on, it remerges all our sweeps to the main body. And we'll just repeat that for our other two projected curves. Now let's sketch on this face from one of our previous sweeps, and we'll sketch a 5.5 millimeter diameter half circle to act as our profile for a revolve. This is the portion of the snitch's body to which the wing will connect. This is a sphere, so the location of the center line isn't super important, as long as we end up with a perfect half circle. Exit the sketch and in the Command Manager into the Revolved Boss tool and select the center line to do a full 360 degree revolve. Now to wrap up this part of the series we need to trim away these small portions of our sweeps that are extending past the side face of the snitch's body. I intentionally built these sweeps to jut out a bit from this side wall to make sure we have a bit of overlap when we do the mirror later on. Rather than draw a sketch and use the extruded cut tool to cut away these bits, we can simply select the right plane to act as the cutter and navigate to Insert, Features, Split, and click on Cut Part to bring up resulting bodies which you can choose to cut, in this case bodies 1 and 2. And we'll make sure the Consume Cut Bodies option is selected. Okay, thus completes the outer detail of the snitch's body and part 2 of the series. In part 3 of the series, we'll begin modeling the snitch's wings using a few unique advanced modeling tools. Stay tuned.